Hello and welcome. Hope you're all well. Hope you're enjoying your day at our 2024 Polyworks training event. Um, my name's Gajeevan Singh Bopran and I am a project engineer at 3D Scanners UK. So today I'm going to show you some major updates in Polyworks 2024. So let's get into it. So a lot of you are probably familiar with this. You've probably been using this. This is 2023 and for years before, a lot of people have used this interface where you've got your buttons on top of the screen, on the side screen, and your toolbars on the bottom. So some people may have found this difficult to use in the past and Invermetric have taken this feedback to heart and now introducing the ribbon, a new fresh look to Polyworks. This is the biggest Polyworks update in years and 3D scans and Invermetric are happy to show you the new changes in Polyworks. So this is a culmination of years of customer feedback and experimentation. The new Met layout is a modern layout and for new users coming into the software, it has a familiar tone to it with a modern ribbon layout. The sides and the bottom of the interface have now disappeared, leaving a nice, clear 3D scene. So let's just go through some of the main changes. So if we have a look at number one on our screen, we've got the main tabs. So this is what contains your tools and all the things that you'll be using Polyworks with. And within that, you've got subgroups, which are commands, and tools are organized into groups. In addition, if we have a look at number two, you've got your quick access toolbar. This is where you can view your pieces, it's your piece browser, and you can add commonly used buttons that you'll always be using in the software. Number three, a great new addition to this year is contextual tabs. In contextual tabs, if you have any objects in the tree view that you want to have a look at a bit more, once you click on there, you'll get some enhanced options for said object. For number four, for our experienced users out there, you may look at this interface and have a bit of a culture shock. Don't worry. If you search up there, you'll be able to find whatever tool you want to look for. And even for our new users, when you're first learning the software, you'll be able to find what you need. And lastly, number five is simplified right-click menus. You may remember if you've used this, if you if you use Polyworks in your role currently in 2023, the right-click menus are quite large, and you might not be able to find what you want straight away. Now it's simplified and enhanced for the most used tools. So it begs the question: Why the new ribbon? So the new ribbon will enable increased productivity from anyone who's using it, as you'll be able to find exactly what you need at the right time. It reduces the time for new and occasional users to get the grasp of the software. As it's already familiar in design language to other softwares that they'll use in the workplace, for those new users, it's less daunting and easier to use. And even those experienced users out there are customers in the crowd here today. You'll be able to find some tools that you may not have known existed because now they're all organized in the correct places where they should be. So let's take a closer look at the ribbon. So as you can see here, we're just clicking through the ribbon. And first thing first is the icons are larger and now have a text description right underneath them. So in the past, if you clicked on a button, well, it wouldn't even have a description. You just see a button. Now you know exactly what you're looking at and you'll be able to do whatever you need from just from the description. And this is less daunting for new users as they'll be able to see what the button's going to do. And even for experienced users out there, you'll be able to identify what you need quicker. And tools, and tools are grouped and organized in the places you expect them to be. We'll get into this a bit more later. So let's just show you an example of streamlining. So in the past, if you've, if you've used Polyworks 2023 and before, you'd often be presented with large menus. So if you want to change your views, for example, you'd have to click on top and you'd just be presented by this large menu. And on the right side of the screen on Polyworks, you'd have other viewing options. So for some people, they might have seen that as quite intimidating. I don't know what I'm looking for necessarily. It might have been a bit confusing for some users. 
So, how has that changed? The interface has been streamlined. So now, in the View tab, for example, you've got all your most needed tools there. So, <coughs> centering an object, selecting an object, showing and hide, everything's where you'd expect it to be. Again, as I mentioned earlier, the stream on right-click menus. Before, when you've right-clicked on a, something in the tree, such as an object, you'd notice that you'd have a big list come up. And that necessarily didn't show you exactly what you needed at the time, and it, it could impede you getting your work done. So in 2024, you can now see this menu has been significantly shortened. Just look at the difference there. Significantly easier in day-to-day -day usage. Moving on, a brand new addition is contextual menus. So what's going to happen here on screen is an object such as a cross section is going to be clicked on the screen. And what you'll notice is when that was clicked on, you'll now see a brand new tab which comes up, which is cross sections. This is the same for other objects. But as you can see, it brought up specific tools related to the cross section. So you've got your measurement zones. You got things such as your cross-section navigator. It really just focuses what you need when you click on that tab. And you can use this on objects such as planes, circles, you name it. There's more of them. So you'll probably find this as you use it. So you're probably wondering, can we make our own tabs? So yes, you can. So you can actually create custom toolbars within Polyworks 2024. So here I've just created a toolbar for some of the most popular macros that you can download on the My Polyworks zone. So in the past, you'd likely have a button, a custom button that you create on the interface or something similar. Now it's all in a nice tab where you can have it in your correct workflows. So you can customize the software to your liking. So let's see what new software is all about. So what we've got here is Polyworks 2024. And we're just going to go through the tabs just to show you again how that works. So what we've got here is we've got our file options. So you've got your new, open, save. Everything's here. So for our experienced users out there, everything's going to be, you might not find it familiar straight away. But once you get used to it after a few hours or days, you'll find it second nature. So you can save your projects here, open projects, export your layouts. There's a lot of options here. If we click on the Home tab, you've got a lot of your most commonly used functions within the software. So what you can see is you've got Import, Export, CADs, Polygonal Models, etc. features. We'll go into this a bit more later, but your, how your feature creations change in Polyworks, comparison points, you name it. All your most commonly used functions are in your Home, in your home tab. Moving on we've got the new device toolbar. So previously, the device toolbars were on the bottom of the screen. Now it is one tab. And what you'll notice is, as this changes, it will change the tools that are available to you. So it adapts to what you need. So if you had multiple pieces of hardware, such as an arm or a CMM, for example, like we've got here, it will show you the relevant tools. Same goes for scanning as well, and other items. So you can really see, there's a lot of small optimizations here, and it might take some time to get used to for our more experienced users out there and our existing customers, but it really is a better way to do things. If we go into the measure tab, well, this ain't measure things. So, you can, you can start scanning from here. You can extract data from your polygonal models, pick on your polygonal models, 
fit to them. Anything you need to measure, anything you need to do to measure is here, and you can activate it from this tab. A really nice new addition is that it's a specific align tab now. So in the past, you may have had an icon on your free on your on your interface in 2023 and before, or like the align dropdown. So now all of your alignments are easy to see. Whatever you want to choose, you can use. So your plane axis points, perpendicular planes, whatever you need to use, it's all there for you to use. If we click on our review tab, for all your reporting needs, this is where you'll go. So if you want to create control views, snapshots, tables, you can easily access them from here. So as you can see, a reoccurring theme here, everything's been organized. As mentioned here, we now have our view tab. We had a look at this earlier, but everything's nicely organized there. So if we want to view, show, keep anything on our interface, we can just find it here. We know a lot of our customers do macro scripting as well, so now there is a macro script tab which will show you all your macro scripting tools that you need, recording, whatever you need to do with macro scripting, it's all in that tab there. If you do need any help using Polyworks, you've got access to my Polyworks support and also a new user guide which will show you some of the interface changes as well. In addition, if we have a look here, you've also got split buttons now. So each button's got like its main function, and it's got derivative functions below that. So if you click on here, you'll be able to see the other functions that that offers. So offset cross sections, for example. There are more, the functionality is shown in the buttons by clicking on that. So as mentioned before, I've already got a few tools up here, but if you've got some tools you use a lot more, you can always right click on any tool here and add to your quick access toolbar. So that means any tools that you really need to use outside of a tab, they're always there for you to use. So let's get into a basic workflow. So we've got a CAD on our screen, and we've got a data. So this could have been scanned in a laser scan or any other system, right? So if we're in that scenario, let's do a best fit, for example. How do we do that? So all we need to do is go into our align tab, go date to reference objects, and our settings here are fine, and it's just going to automatically pre-align for us. So as you can see there, all we did was go into the Align tab and choose it there. And now our alignment's active. So what we also want to do is create some datum features, for example, and do a DRF alignment. So how are we going to do that? Basic example, but let's show you how to do that. Right, so all we're going to do is click on the Home tab. Um, what you'll notice is, if you've already used Polyworks, if I click on a feature here, it will let me create that feature. The feature creation menu has changed quite a bit. So in the past, you click the drop down here. Now everything's accessed from here. So a bit more of a cleaner dialog zone. And you'll notice this throughout the software. Dialog zones have been cleaned up. Everything just looks a bit more streamlined throughout the software. So let's create that as A. And then let's create a set two cylinders here. So our two datum cylinders. So let's do B. So I clicked on the cylinder icon there. And I've just assigned it B. And we're just going to pick on the CAD model as we have done previously. 
and then let's do that for the other datum where we have here. So as you can see there, we've picked all of our features. So what we want to do now is extract them from our scan data. So extraction is the same as it was before, and also it's another way to do it now. So I'm just going to press Shift and select all them. So I can either use our new right-click menus, which are significantly simplified, to extract measured, or we can just go to Measure, and we just press Extract. And you'll see now they are all measured. So I know it's a basic workflow, but you can see how this is just a bit easier to navigate the interface, right? So if we click on Align and then go to Datum Reference Frames, we're going to do a Datum Standard Alignment, which is going to use max fits, for example. So all I'm going to do is click on that, go on Creation, select A, B, and C. The reason we've got that is because we've assigned it to our features there, so that's why it pulls through there, if, if you didn't know. So I'm going to do is press Create, click on that, and Align, and now we are aligned in DRF. So let's show you another thing about the right-click menus. So all I'm going to do here is create a plane on this face here. And I'm going to extract that plane. And what we're going to do now is just show you a new enhancement in the software in the, in the, in the right-click menu. So if we highlight both the features here that we want, just press Control and click. And let's go right click it. And you'll notice now we've got a new thing which is create features. So anything that you choose in there, so if you wanted intersections or from objects, for example, a projection, if you select anything from there, you can create directly from the right click. A small enhancement, but a big impact overall. So if we want an angle for that, for example, we'll just click that and we're straight into the menu. So that's created for us right there. It's that easy. So for example, if you're an existing user and you don't know where anything is, you can always search the function. So if I type in <coughs> color, you'll see here, I can find it straight away. So if you are unfamiliar where you are and still getting used to this, just search it and you'll find it. So all we're going to do is press measure, and we've got a color map created straight there. So I mentioned previously, how do we create custom toolbars? So here's one I made earlier. Let's make another one. So all you have to do is right click on anywhere in the ribbon which is free space, and click Customize Ribbon. And what we can do here is create new tabs. So we can add any function we want in here. So we just click New Tab there. And you've also got the groupings. So you can always rename these after as well. So you can have them within groups. So you could, have, you could create an entire workflow through this tab. So whatever functions that you use most, so if you had a process flow, click this, click this, click this, you could do that for your colleagues. <coughs> if I do this here, I can essentially add whatever I need there, whatever I see fit. Really nice and easy, not too difficult. So, for those of you not quite ready to make the leap to the new interface, you can click on the file option, and you can disable using the ribbon. However, after 2024, the ribbon is eventually going to be phased out. So 
it's the intention of Innovametric that people start using this new ribbon more. But if you, if you just need to get that familiarity there and just use the, use the old layout, you can feel free to do that. So all you do is click here. And it will let you do, and it'll let you just revert back if needed. So what I'm going to do is click there, and we're back. In addition, the selection tool has changed. So this is actually another thing which has changed. So if I press my space bar, you'll notice some of our contextual menus are at the bottom of the screen. So our selection tools, it means everything's in view whilst you're selecting. So if you do need to select stuff, it's always within your view, and it's being moved to the bottom. And same for some device functions, such as accepting them, removing points, are at the bottom of the screen now. So if you ever are looking for something, maybe it's moved to the bottom of the screen. And again, if we click on anything on our contextual menus, we have access to the most important functions that we need in that instance. So that's an overview of the changes, major changes in Inspector. Let's have a, have a quick look at Modeler. So as you can see, the same design language has been employed to Modeler. So you've got your file options, NURBS, polygons. Design language is very similar. So if you are a customer that does use Modeler, you'll eventually get used to this new layout with organized tabs. Let's just jump back into this. So if you ever do need any additional guidance, we have the My Polyworks um, page. Uh, this is for our customers who are in maintenance. So if you ever need access to online tips and tricks, you can always click on the My Polyworks. And we've got access to macros and all sorts of other nice things which you can access. So yeah, if you do need to find anything, you can always find it there. And most importantly, I've been talking about this new 2024 update. If you need to download it, go to the My Polyworks zone and you'll be able to download Inspector 2024. And this goes for any update. We encourage all of our customers to stay up to date with the software so you don't miss out on new features, fixes, all that sort of stuff. And of course, you can always contact us, our email, or call us. Thank you for listening to our 2024 Pikes Ribbon Showcase. We'd love to see how you use it in your own scenarios and workplaces. And I would like to welcome Toby Moore next. <laughs>